Hello and welcome to another video by Geek Together. Today I'll be showing you how to configure CrowdSec for your Nginx proxy manager and protect or secure your web servers that are hosted behind your Nginx proxy manager. Before I go ahead and show you how to use CrowdSec with Nginx proxy manager, we kind of want to understand real quick what CrowdSec does. So CrowdSec is a security tool that uses collections which are bundles of passes, scenarios, and post overflows that form a package. And this package is used to read and understand your logs that are passed into the CrowdSec security engine to be able to detect malicious actors or attempts once the crowdsec security engine detects malicious actors or attempts it uses one of its bouncers to further block these malicious ip addresses from accessing your system in order for crowdsec security engine to block it uses something that is called bouncers crowdsec bouncers can work with firewalls for example ip tables nf tables and also work with proxies such as HA proxy and Nginx proxy manager. So if you head over to the CrowdSec hub, you can find several bouncers that may work for your environment. For example, you have the caddy bouncer, you have the traffic bouncer for the traffic proxy, you have the AWS bouncer for those of you who use AWS, and you also have a bouncer for HA proxy. So if you search over in the CrowdSec hub for bouncers, CrowdSec does not currently have a bouncer for Nginx proxy manager. They only have a bouncer for the Nginx proxy itself. But La Presidente, if I'm saying that correctly, has a Docker fork of the Nginx proxy manager which he was able to integrate the CS Open Restry Bouncer into that Docker image for your Nginx Proxy Manager. So if you want to use CrowdSec with Nginx Proxy Manager, you're going to have to use his version of Nginx Proxy Manager, which comes included with the Open Restry Bouncer for CrowdSec. Which, by the way, if you go back to the hub and you type Open Restry, this is the bouncer he has integrated into that Docker image for Nginx Proxy Manager. So in order for us to install, we're going to have to install that Docker image for La Presidente's um, Nginx Proxy Manager. And then we can run CrowdSec. So we're going to head over to the command line here. And the first thing you want to do is make sure you have Docker installed and Docker Compose because we're going to be using Docker Compose to set up Nginx Proxy Manager and CrowdSec. So the first thing we're going to do here is make a new directory and we're just going to call this directory npm. Sorry, I want to create that in the root directory. So once we create that directory npm, you can call it whatever you want. We're going to cd into that directory. And once you see it in into that directory, you can see the directory is empty. So we're going to create a new file. And we'll call that file docker compose.yml. And once you have that file created, you're going to paste the configuration I have included in the description section below for your docker compose.yml file. So once you have this pasted in here, you really don't have to change anything unless you change the directory that you want your Nginx proxy manager to be stored in. And that goes the same for your CrowdSec. But if you're following to this tutorial and want to do everything the same, then you don't have to change anything. So once that's done, we're going to save the file. And once you have the file saved, the next thing now we're going to do is run the Docker Compose command to build up our nginx proxy manager image followed by our crowdsec images that we want to set up for this video so we're going to run the command sudo docker compose up followed by dash d and once you run that command the uh, docker compose is going to go ahead and pull those images and install them on your system so once that installation is complete we're going to head back over to the browser and we'll open a new tab and we're going to paste the ip address or type in the ip address of your nginx proxy manager followed by the port number 8181 and you want to make sure you're using http and that's going to bring us to our nginx proxy manager logon screen so you can log in here if you like 
as admin.example.com and then the password here is going to be change me so once you log in now you can see that we've successfully installed the nginx proxy manager so now that we know that nginx proxy manager has been successfully installed the next thing we're going to do is make sure that our crowdsec image was also successfully installed in order for us to do this we're just going to run a basic crowdsec command on our crowdsec image because remember we named our crowdsec image crowdsec so we're going to use the docker exec command followed by a dash it and then the docker machine name which is crowdsec and now we're going to run the crowdsec command which is a cscli command in order to be able to check if crowdsec is running so we're just going to do cscli metrics and if we run that we can see that our crowdsec is installed and is up and running if you get any error messages or you don't get something similar to this it means your crowdsec was not installed successfully but if you got this it means we are good to go the next thing we want to do is now create a bouncer or add our nginx proxy into the list of our bouncers for crowdsec so we're going to have to create an api key for the bouncer which is nginx proxy to be able to perform its duties as the bouncer it needs a, an api key so for that key to be created we're going to run another docker command on our um, crowdsec server so the next command we're going to run here is sudo docker exec dash it followed by the docker machine name which is crowdsec and now we're going to run the crowdsec cscli command which is cscli bouncers add which means we want to add a bouncer and you can give it any name in this case i just want to call it nginx proxy so once you do that it presents you with a bouncer api key you want to store this key because you can only get this key one time there is no way for you to retrieve this key so if i were you i will copy this and paste it somewhere if i need to use it for future purposes so now that we have that done we're going to cd into the data folder which is where we're going to have the files for our engine x proxy manager so we'll cd into that nginx proxy manager and once we do that you want to cd into the crowdsec directory so crowdsec and in here you're going to find two files one is a regular file text file or configuration file and the other one is a template directory for now we're just going to focus on the configuration file so we're going to open this configuration file using nano and now that we have the file open we want to include our API URL, which is going to be the IP address of our CrowdSec Docker machine. So if you don't remember the IP address of your CrowdSec Docker machine, we're just going to exit this. And all you need to do is open our docker-compose.yml file. So as we can see in here, the IP address we assigned to our CrowdSec image was 172.20.0.6. So I'm going to copy this. And notice our CrowdSec machine is using the port 8080 for its API. So we're going to go back, open up that file. And for the API URL, you want to type HTTP, followed by the IP address, followed by the port 8080. And for the API key, we're going to paste in the API key that we created earlier. So once you have the API key pasted, the next thing we want to do is set the enabled option to true. And once you have that changed to true, you want to save the file and exit. So once you have that saved, the next thing we want to do is test to make sure that our CrowdSec is actually working with Nginx Proxy Manager as we expect and blocking malicious IP addresses. So since we're in the initial stages of setting up our Nginx Proxy Manager and we don't have any host configured, the best way we can test this is manually add an IP address into the block list. So I'm going to clear the screen here and we're going to run another command. So notice we are running the docker exec command again, which means we want to run this command into the docker image or the docker instance crowdsec. And we're using the crowdsec cscli command to 
add or decisions add which means we want to add an ip address into the decisions list or the block list and then we're going to give the ip address of my current machine that i'm using to access your nginx proxy manager so now you can see it says decision successfully added and if you do decisions list you're going to see we have one ip address added which is our machine's ip address you can add multiple ip addresses if you wanted to we do list you can see those two ip addresses have been added so the next thing we want to do now is restart our docker images so that the changes we've made can go into effect or you can just restart the docker service in my case i'm just going to restart the docker service and once that's done if we head back over to the browser if we try to restart our nginx proxy managers admin page we should get a block message so now that we've tested that and we see that we actually get the 403 forbidden messages or block messages we can add crowdsex customized block message as part of our engine x managers block screen so in order for you to do this we're going to head back over to the command line and open up the configuration file for crowdsec open registry bouncer.conf so once you have this file opened, we want to make a few changes here. If you are using my docker compose.yml file, crowdsex custom block or ban html template file is located in the templates slash ban.html. So we're going to go ahead and change it to templates dash ban.html and then we'll save that file. So if I do an ls, you can see the templates file is right here. You can cd into that templates file and you can see they're just html files which you can open and make changes to them as you like or you can load your own custom html files in the templates directory so crowdsec can use that instead so now that we have that changed i'm going to go ahead and restart docker one more time and then we're going to head back to the browser and we're going to refresh the admin page now you can see we get a custom block message so this means we've successfully been able to configure our nginx proxy manager to use the open registry crowdsec firewall bouncer to present block pages to malicious clients so now that we've tested that and we've made sure that it works we're going to head back over to the command line and we're going to run the cscli decisions delete and remove our ip address so we can go back and access our nginx proxy managers logon screen so once we do that we have removed ourselves from the block list and if we head back to the browser and refresh the page now we can see we are able to access our nginx proxy manager again so this brings us to the end of this video i hope this video helps you install la presidente's docker nginx proxy image to be able to use with crowdsec if you found this video useful please like the video and also do not forget to subscribe to the channel